When you're teaching eye gaze um, initially, one of the best ways to do it is with making lots and lots of choices across the day. So we're going to just do a little demonstration on using eye gaze for making choices. Now I've just got a thick, um, thick laminate, so it's really easy to kind of carry it with me wherever I'm going. Um, and for this one, you can really quickly, easily change the options, um, taking these on and off really easily. So, Celine and I are going to do this together. Um, and one of the first things that we need to think about is I need to be at the same eye level as Celine. So if she was um, down on the floor, I'd need to pop down to the floor as well so that we can be at the same eye level and I can see her eyes through the little hole in the middle of the laminate. So the other thing that is really important is to really start using a script right from the beginning. So our script is going to be look around, so she's looking at all her different options, then she's going to look at me to show, hey, I'm ready, I've, I've seen all my options, I'm going to make a choice now, and then look to choose. And then she's going to flick her eyes just to one option, and I know, okay, yep, yeah, that's the one that she wants, um, rather than, do you want this one, do you want this one, do you want this one, and it can be quite confusing. So, let's have a go. Now here is an eye gaze demonstration. Celine, we're going to do some choosing, and um, it's free time now, so you could do some bubbles, or some music, or we could watch a YouTube video. Hmm, I wonder what you're going to choose. Look around, look at me, look to choose. Oh, YouTube, Celine wanted to do YouTube, so she looked around at all her options, she looked at me, and then she looked to choose. And there's lots of different ways that you can do this. So this is an A3 version if you feel like the person needs um, the options to be a little bit bigger and a little bit more spaced out. Again, these are just stuck on with a bit of blue tack. I had that the wrong way. Um, and you can change those options really easily. And um, the other thing that we've done is written the option um, on the back so that I can kind of see through, um, when I'm looking at them, what she's choosing. Um, the good thing about having them on the thick laminate, like 250 micron laminate, is that I can make lots of these. I could have one um, with book choices um, in the book reading area. I could have one with morning tea choices in the Kai area. I could have a music one and put it there with the music options. Um, so I can kind of have them all over. Um, so they're always available. So let's have a go. Um, Celine, we're going to do a pirate activity. Hmm, I wonder what pirate activity you would like to do. There's Captain Hook's treasure, remember the treasure, cannonball, or fling the rat. <gasps> so look around, look at me, look to choose. <gasps> Remember the treasure. Oh, that sounds fun. And then once the person is um, getting a bit more familiar with making choices, you could maybe bring it down from A3 to A4 size, so they're a bit smaller and a bit easier to um, have all over the place. And you could also start to put more options on. So there's quite a lot of options on here. You might not start with this many options, but um, this is a um, YouTube choosing um, eye gaze board, which exactly the same. Look around, look at me, look to choose. Here is a point of view demonstration from the communication partner. Selena, what wonder what pirate activity you want to do. Hmm, look around, look at me, look to choose. Remember the treasure. Oh, that'll be fun. 